We have moved on into lip products. This is the final category. I have two baskets. I also have some lip liners. I think I'll go through this basket first and then I'll go over the lip liners. So I just started pulling them out of the drawer so they're not in any particular order. So I have two here from Makeup by Mario. I have the shades Mocha Glow and then Apricot Glow, which is this one. I really like this formula. It's super juicy. I mean, you don't get a really long lasting like effect out of these, but they're slightly plumping, they're cooling, they have so much shine to them. They're really nice. They're actually quite pigmented. So I do enjoy these. I also have his new releases and I had three. I guess I only have two now. No, I have three of these ones, which are their Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. This one is in Plum Glow. Um, I enjoyed this formula so much. I feel like I had one shade or two shades and then went back for a third. And then I picked up two shades in his newest releases, which are the plumping lip colors. I've heard some people say that they got like a patchy application with these and they just didn't enjoy them. But like, look how smooth it is. There was nothing patchy about it. Like these were so beautiful. These were awesome in my opinion. I preferred these, I feel like even just a little bit more than those. And I felt like that they were super beautiful and pigmented and smooth on the lips. Then I have one from Simi Haze, which is like a satin lipstick. It's kind of weird. Like, it's a nice formula. It's very smooth. Like, Simi Haze products seem to be really good quality. It's just the packaging is a little bit strange. This is called their Velvet Blur Matte Lip Balm. And this one looks like it's in the shade Windburn. So yeah, if that's matte, I don't mean, it's not overly matte. It's basically like a satin to me. But it's still a really good lip product. I feel like I have more of the Sephora Lip Stories. But for whatever reason, I guess I just have one here. This one is in the shade 36. And I just think that they're really good. Like they're a really comfortable like cream formula, but they're super opaque, pretty inexpensive too. I feel like this one is Spring Break. Maybe that's the shade name, I'm not sure. I have some ones from MAC. I have the Mullet Over, which is the Powder Kiss formula. Oh, this formula is so delightful. I feel like it reminds me of the Bite Beauty ones because it's just so smooth and so comfortable. And then I have the Luster Lipstick in Plumful. I also, I just think MAC does a really good job with lip products. I think they were popular for good reason when they were, but they still have a really, really good formula. This one is the Love Me Lipstick in Baited Breath. They're all just really good. They're uncomplicated. They're long lasting. They're just a really comfortable formula. Did you guys just see that I just got my swatch here? I have one here from Give Beauty. I don't remember what this is. I'm still here tomboy, but what was this? I can't remember. I feel like this is her matte liquid lipstick. It was good. It's when it dries down though, it's a little bit drying. I do have to top it with gloss, but I love this shade. I think it's a decent formula. It's just not a matte that you can wear on its own. I have a couple of minis, one from ABH, also a really good formula. This is her matte lipstick in Dead Roses. I love the shade, but I love this formula. It's so comfortable. It doesn't dry my lips out. I mean, that's basically what a matte has to do. This one is a matte from Urban Decay. It's just a little mini in Back Talk. I traveled with this because I just, I love this shade so much. Like it's just my kind of shade. Again, it's almost like a satin formula. It's, it's not overly matte. And anytime I can wear a matte because it's long lasting and I don't have to top it, it's like pff, a 10 out of 10 in my book. I still have one from Becca that I don't feel has gone bad yet. This is one of her ultimate lipstick loves in Orchid. I just smelt it. It smells delightful. I don't feel like it's turned yet. Plus I really love this shade too. So it's just a little mini. I should probably like project pan that. I have two here from NARS, which are their, I think it's just their regular lipsticks. I forget what these ones are called, but one is the sheer formula. And then this one is the matte formula. So the matte is in Bacara. Oh, it is also a really good formula. It's not like drying on the lips. It's really comfortable. Plus I love the shade too. And then this is their sheer one in Damage. And I don't know why it's sheer. Like it's more of just a cream, but yeah, it's almost like purple. I don't know why they call this sheer. That's so bizarre. It's pretty pigmented. It's just really glossy. I mean, I guess I could see why they call it sheer. It's just not 
I share some of my other ones that are like sheer. I have three lip oils from Kosas. These are their wet lip oils. So they came in a set, unhooked, unbuttoned, and then unzipped. I don't know if you can buy these individually. So I don't know if it helps to like tell you the shades, but that one was unzipped. This one is unhooked. I actually really like all of these. I don't think they're a super like non-sticky lip oil. I think they do have a little bit of stick to them, but I think that it's still very comfortable because it's a really, really thin formula. That one is unbuttoned right there. I have one little mini from Rare Beauty. I have other ones from Rare Beauty in different places. I guess I only grabbed this one. This is one of her Dewy Lip Balms in Sincere. I really enjoy this. I think it's just so creamy and comfortable. Plus I love this shade too. Like just this mauve shade is my kind of shade. I have two here from Urban Decay. I feel like these are just their, oh no, they're two different formulas. One is cream and one is shine. So the one in cream is called Wayho and that's more of a dry cream. It's like a satin. Like it has a lot of opacity. It's just, it tugs a little bit and you have to line these up perfectly. So yeah, Wayho is the cream formula and the one in the shine formula, it's like a bright orange. I don't know, I don't reach for this. By the time it translated to my lips, it was just maybe a little bit too vibrant. I think I wanted to go wild. I just maybe regretted my decisions just a little bit, but I like the Urban Decay formula. I have one from Natasha Denona. This is the I Need a Nude in Avril. I feel like she doesn't even make this one anymore, but this is like a beautiful, again, just mauve shade that I really enjoy. One that I haven't tried yet is the Merit Signature Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Baby. I have, I think, swatched this, and I do like the color. I just haven't tried it on the lips. It's really nice. It's kind of like the NARS one. Like, it has opacity to it, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit more of a sheer buildable formula. Okay, I just put those back. You know what, let's do this side next. So I have one here from Patrick Ta. I am loving this. This is one of his Major Glow Lip Shines and this one is in She's an Influencer. This is so beautiful. It's like an iridescent gloss, but it's like super lightweight. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the iridescence, but it's so pretty when it translates to the lips. Like, it's really, really nice. Then I have one from Sephora. This is their soft matte, I want to say lip cream. They just came out with this. I actually really like this formula. It has a bit of a shine to the lips. Like it's not your like matte lip cream. It's like a thinner formula than that. This one is in 04. Then I have one from Rare Beauty. This is one of her soft matte lip creams. This one is in Courage. This is such a drier formula in comparison and more whipped than the one from Sephora. This one I have to top with a gloss because it's it's a little bit too drying. And I feel like it's a, maybe a little bit of a, a brownie shade that doesn't usually look good on me. I have one from Unique Beauty. I showed you guys all their eyeshadows. This one is crazy. This is Niger. This is like one of their glossy liquid lips. It's so opaque. It is so glossy. It's such a statement. It's such a statement. But it's so good for like fall. And then I have one of the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in Flamingo Acid. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Flamingo Acid. This one is so bright. I feel like all of these Mademoiselle ones were just super, super bright. Like see that? It's so comfortable though. It's like a powdery formula, so opaque, but I can't wear it that often because it's just on the bright side. I have two here from Laura Geller. She calls these, and actually one is a little bit different. This is one of her lips. This one is in Brick House. This is more like a buildable formula, but it definitely has some shine to it. And then I have one of her Jelly Balm lipsticks in the buff. There is the swatch on that one. It's much more of a buildable sheer formula, but they're both really, really nice. Okay, my battery totally died. <laughs> 
and I was like swatching away. So I had swatched the House Labs Atomic Lip Lacquer. This one is in Rosewood Shine. I kind of like this. The shine doesn't last very long and then I end up having to like top it with a gloss because it does dry my lips out. So it's not my favorite formula. And then I swatched these two. This was the Juicy Watermelon Balm from Lawless. It's right here. It's not overly pigmented and I kind of felt like it was a stiffer formula. Like it's definitely on the stiff side and so I kind of felt like it was a high price point for what it was. And then the same thing with the Glossier one which is the Hydrating Shine and Color in Villa. It is the one right here. Like it's nice, it's just, it's a little bit stiffer of a formula and in the $20 price range, I felt like it was too expensive for what it was. It was a little bit boring. And then I swatched this one right here from Kiko Milano. This is from their Joyful Holiday Collection. This was limited edition. It was the Hydra Desire Lip Stylo in 01. The reason that I didn't like this formula, or not the formula, this product was because of the color. Colors like this usually don't like look good on me. I want them to and I feel like they would but for whatever reason they just kind of like wash out my lips and then I have one from glam light this is the Chucky one and I had the Tiffany somewhere or maybe I gave that to my daughter but yeah so I think this is a matte formula yes it is it's a better shade for me than I think Tiffany was Tiffany was just really really dark and then I have one from Laura Geller. This is um, the Perfection in Pink. This is not pink at all. This is our Gorgeous in Gold Limited Edition Lipstick. But like the color is Perfection in Pink. It's actually a holographic lipstick. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it switches from Laura Geller. Laura Geller. Can I actually see that? Is there a Laura? Really cool packaging, but none of it translates to your lips. And it's not necessarily like the perfect shade for me because it's very similar to this. But it's, it's cool packaging. That's kind of how I feel about this one too. This one's from Lunar Beauty. This is his new lipsticks. Look at this packaging. It's freaking amazing. Like the casting of this is so good. But the formula dries my lips out so badly. It's on the dry side so you have to top it with gloss. I have the shade Milk Tea. Then I have Black Honey from Clinique. I feel like there's not much left. Yeah, there isn't. I should project pan this bad boy. <laughs> compared to the other ones it's just like I don't know that actually took a second to really build up it's it's pretty like I think it's just a universal shade that works for a lot of people and it's really comfortable and then I have one from IBY Beauty that I got in a boxy charm do I like this I don't know I feel like it's a shade that well it's a little bit deeper so maybe I can get away with this one I mean it's a decent cream formula I just don't know if the shade works for me I can't remember I love these from KVD. These are their Studded Kiss Cream Lipsticks. This one is in Lovecraft. I feel like I've traveled with this one. It's a cream formula, but honestly, it's kind of like on the satin side. Do you see how it doesn't have like a whole lot of shine? It's just such a comfortable formula. Plus I love the shade. Two here of the painted lip colors, the matte in, from About Face rather. And then I have the one here, which is Last Goodbye, which is a more mauve shade. And then I have Baby's Arms, which is, I don't know what shade you would call this. I actually think these are really good. Like they're comfortable. They're nice and opaque. They have like this minty smell and tingle to them, but I still have to top them with gloss. Cause like once they dry down, they do tend to like be a little bit too drying on my lips but like they're so lightweight and comfortable though i have one from Lorac. this is part of like it has matching like color in different formulas this is premiere premiere and i don't know this is just like their cream lipstick but i have the liquid lip in this and then i also have like I don't know, something else that's all in this shade. It came in a, in a trio. I just like the formula. And then I have three from Bite Beauty that I refuse to get rid of until they go fully bad because Bite Beauty's matte formula was my favorite. The Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick was so good. Yep, they're all in the same formula. Like, they were my favorite of all time. I'm so sorry to see them go. This one is Hot Tomato. It is so smooth, so smooth. And then this next one, I think I love the most. It's called Sugar Buns. Yes, just a nice mauve shade. They still smell good. I should project pan these bad boys. 
and I even like this one, Juniper. Oh man, their lip products were honestly so, so good. So, so good. And I have one from Context that I got in a BoxyCharm. It's a, it's a decent formula. I don't like the bullet. The bullet makes it like hard to swatch. The shade is okay. It's not great on me. I don't know. It's kind of a filler product in my collection. It's not like a standout item. And then I have two of the lip glosses from Made by Mitchell. This is the See Right Through and then Innocent. And I bought the whole set. The rest of them were disgusting. They were already starting to separate in the tube. They all, like some of them smelt bad, but these were the two from the whole set of six that seemed to be good, so I held on to them. But this is like a goopy formula, like on the lips. The clear one is really, like I don't know if this is gonna end up working, I'll have to try this again. The clear one was really the only one that didn't like completely goop up on me. Okay, let's go over this last section next. These are the three shades that I have in the Rare Beauty Lip Oils. I have Joy, which is more orange. These are cool, like they're really thin, but like different. They're just different. Like they don't have a gloss that stays a super long time. Gloss that stays for a short period of time, but then the stain stays behind. This is Wonder. And then I have the shade Happy. I actually really liked Happy on the lips. I don't know why, they just thought it was really pretty. I enjoy these, but they're just different. Then I have um, a Kiko Milano, I wanna say this is, yeah, 3D Effect Lip Gloss. I was gonna call it Holographic from the Beauty Essentials Collection. This was in the shade 02, like used up pretty well, but it's such a beautiful holographic shade. I don't know if that's like translating, but once it gets to the lips, it's just so flattering. Just basically can top anything. Like using this is just, just makes it pop. And then I have one from M Cosmetics. Not a huge fan of this. This is the soft spoken, I don't know. It's like a lip cream in petal. Like it's okay. It's just like a whipped kind of dry. I don't know if lip creams are my favorite, especially when they're like super thick like that. This though, oof, so, so good. Too Faced's Melted Mattes are like my favorite liquid matte formula. I'm just watching it on my hair. But they're like so smooth and they don't dry out my lips. They're like ones that I feel like I don't even need to top with a gloss if I didn't want to. So I think this is like my favorite matte liquid lip. I have one gloss from, oh no, this is a lip oil from Lunar Beauty. This is Expose Me. I love these flat paddles too. So smooth, so delightful. Smells like mangoes or something. So good. Oof. He, I think he does some of the best in lip oils. Then I have one of his lip glosses in Aura. I feel like I have one other product from him. I don't know where it is. But even this, so smooth, so beautiful. Oh, here's the other Lorac. So this was the one that was in Premier Premier. Actually, this is not called that. It's called Pink Taupe, and it's their matte lip color. So this came in the set as well, but I wanna say it's like the same shade. It's just a lip crayon or lip pencil. It's also a very comfortable formula too. And then I have, let's see what I wanna do next. One from Huda Beauty, this is the Demi Matte. This one is in the shade Chica, I guess. I used to really like this. I feel like these lipsticks tend to go bad pretty quickly though. That's the only thing I would say with these because I feel like this is my second semi-matte formula that I've had from her. And the other one that I had like already went bad. But here's the ones from Rare Beauty. Like that's the lip oil stain that stays behind. They are not coming off. I waited too long, so they're gonna stay. And I'm gonna keep swatching at my arm because now I have no choice. I have one of the Juicy Shifts from Tarte. This one is in Blueberry. It's, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's definitely like a little bit gimmicky, but I feel like it has like this purple shift once it gets to the lips. It's actually, I don't know, kind of cool. So even though it's a little bit gimmicky, I still really like it. And the formula is just creamy, juicy, light reflecting. This one is also good from About Face. This is her lip color butter in Cherry Pick. This reminds me a lot of the Tarte. It also has like this really high shine, super nice opacity. Like these are really good. I would pick up more shades in this. 
I have one from House Labs that is the Le Monster Lip Crayon 2.0. This is mauve matte. I don't care for it. It's, it's too drying. I feel like the one thing that House Labs needs to probably work on, in my opinion, in my opinion, is her lip formula because even though they have sold out many times i feel like this is just on the drier side honestly i have one here that i love from stila this is in synergy it's one of their beauty boss lip glosses it's also like this iridescent like shimmery pink it is so pretty and so smooth it's like one of my oldest lip products in my collection. This is the new reformulated version of the Everlasting Lipsticks from KBD, and this one is in the shade Moth Orchid. They came out with new shades when they reformulated, and I really liked this the first time I tried it, although I was really upset that they reformulated because it's one of my favorite matte liquid lipstick formulas. The Everlasting one was probably my favorite until they reformulated, and I would have to say the Too Faced Melted Matte was my second, but like, this isn't as good it wasn't as smooth but also i took this traveling and like the plane like dried out the product like it's basically nearly gone and the, it changed the formula too so just going into the air at that height kind of changed it and i didn't enjoy it as much when we landed i have one here from v cosmetics another one that i got from boxycharm this is in the shade bubbly it's actually a really cool shade. Like, it's definitely vibrant, but like, I kept it because I was like, ooh, this is kind of fun. And I was wearing it in the summertime. Well, I haven't worn it this summertime, but I feel like I wore it last summer. This one is from Kaja. This is one of their Heart Melter Lip Gloss Stick in the shade 08 So Fine. Aw, I just broke it. It's actually really cool. I mean, it's a decent lip product. I have two here from Make. They don't have the sh names on here. They're supposed to be like high shine and like pretty opaque. I have, this one is in Equilibrium. I mean, I like the, the bullet and I like the idea of it. I just don't think that they were as high shine as I was like hoping for. They're kind of basically like their version of a cream lipstick. And then this one is in Supernova. Shades ended up being pretty similar to one another, but I didn't intend to do that when I bought them but I, I do really like this one in Equilibrium. They're a fine formula. It's just like, I was expecting more high shine, I guess. And then I have one from REM Beauty. I kind of feel like I don't like this. The liquid lipstick in Leave a Message. I cannot remember. I literally have not reached for this since I did a speed reviews and now I just can't remember how I feel about it. I also do not like this shade. I do such a bad job picking shades online sometimes because these colors look good like on the models or the swatches and then for whatever reason like they're just the same brownish tone that washes out my lips. I have one from Jouer. I've had this quite a while too. This is their rose gold lip gloss. It's just so pretty. It reminds me of like like a Pat McGrath. One of those luster glosses. It's just really pretty. It's nice to wear on its own or to top something. And then I have one from REM Beauty. Ooh, I don't like this one either. I don't know why I've kept this. The Lip Stain Marker in Popular. Um, it's basically like putting Sharpie on your lips. I didn't, I just didn't care for it. I just haven't decluttered it yet. I really like the Maracuja Lip Creams from Tarte. They're just basically like a, like a satin lipstick. They're just so smooth and comfortable. This one is in mauve. Plus I love the shade too, so. Then I have one of their just regular juicy lips. This one is in hibiscus. I also love this. I also love the shade. Look at the high shine. Literally doing the worst job swatching. There's a better swatch of it. It's just so good. Welcome to my boring collection of lip liners. I have some like really out of date lip liners too. I have one from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Primrose. It still smells good. Like it, I don't think it's gone bad. I still have some lip products. The only thing is like this has come out, but you know what? I still use it because this shade is so darn good and this formula is so darn good. Like it's so soft and it's just like my perfect mauve shade. I have a couple from Sephora. I have one of the teeny little travel size ones. This is called the Lip Liner To Go. This one is in vintage pink. This has gotta be my favorite pencil. I don't go for a lot of pencils, but like I have some in my collection and I feel like this is the most creamy. This has gotta be my favorite and it's like just this little 
martini guy, but it's such a good formula. Like it's so creamy for a pencil. And then the other pencils that I have are from Glam Light from the Chucky collection. This one is the Tiffany one. So this one matched the shade of the lip product that I had. The only thing, even though these are really creamy and a good formula, they bleed. That's the same thing that I find with their eyeliner too. They both bleed. So they're not super transfer resistant. They don't lock down very well. And then I have some from Huda Beauty, their lip con her, her lip contour 2.0s. I have one in rusty pink. Oh, these are so good. These are some of my favorite, I feel like. And then this one is in the shade pinky brown. It's because they're super creamy, but they also lock down really well. I have a couple from Basic Beauty. I would say that these are not like high end necessarily, but this came in a duo and the duo was fairly expensive. So I don't know, it's going in high end anyway. This one is in the shade Coco. Again, arguably some of these like About Face and even the Sephora brands, maybe not necessarily high end, but they definitely don't belong in like drugstore or luxury. So that's where they fall. This one's in Latte. They're really good formula. Like they're definitely creamy and they lock down. I have one from Mellow. I think this is my only one from Mellow. Again, it's a decent formula. It was a boxy charm item. I don't dislike it. I have one from About Face. This one, Moonlight Seduction, it's called the Fix Lip Pencil Matte. I like this shade quite a bit, actually. It's kind of cool. Like it's a mauve brown. Then I have one from Rare Beauty, and I believe this is in Humble. Yeah, it's the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. I like the lip liner a lot. I do not like the lipstick, which, um, do I have it in there? I probably have it in there in the same shade in Humble. The lipstick is just really on the dry side. So I wear this a lot more than the lipstick. Oh, here's another one that is totally gone. One from Becca. I like this color and it still seems to work well. Ultimate Lip Definer in Fearless. I just like that it's like kind of a warm tone brown shade. It's nice to like line the lips with this color and then like fill it in with like the Patrick Ta gloss that I was showing you guys before. One from Persona that I reach for all the time, so much so that it's like, it needs to be sharpened, ouch. This one is in Almond. It's a really good sharpenable liner. Ooh, I have one from Patrick Ta, the Precision Lip Crayon, and that's why she's late. This one is more like a lipstick because it has this tip to it that basically almost fills in my whole tiny little lips. It's nice, it's like a powdery formula, but it's a little bit thick of a tip for me. I like the formula, I just don't know if I love the applicator. And I have another one that came in BoxyCharm. This is Moonlight, Loon number 48 Kobe. I'm assuming this is on the expensive side because a lot of those BoxyCharm items, if you look them up, they are like pretty expensive individually. It's a pretty shade right there. I have one from Lunar Beauty. This was in Milk Tea that matched the lipstick. It's too creamy though. I've used this like three times and it's basically like it needs to be sharpened. I liked that the lip liner was a little bit different shade than the lipstick to give it like a contour, even though they're colored this or named the same rather. But I just, I didn't like the formula. Like this was way too creamy and it used up the pencil too fast and then the lip product was way too dry. I have two here from Sephora, the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. This one is in the shade Nothing But Nude. I like these ones too. I think Sephora does an awesome job with their lip liners. That shade, really pretty, really comfortable. The thing with these is they're very gel-like. They do not last a whole heck of a long time. Then this one is in Sink or Suede. It's such a like a purpley undertone. It's so beautiful. Like see, it's almost like a lavender undertone. I don't know if that's translating, but. It is how it looks. And I have one from Beauty Vault. This is in the shade Carmen. Another one that needs to be sharpened. That's why I don't like sharpenable pencils. I'm like the laziest pencil sharpener ever. I have to sharpen it, it'll never get sharpened. Then I have one here from Smashbox. This is the Always Sharp Lip Liner in Nude Light. This is the kind that twists off. So like your point always stays sharpened because it actually has a sharpener, like a sharp edge even on the inside. I like this though. It reminds me a lot of the Becca one, but it's not as creamy of a formula. It's just like that kind of brownie tone that really looks good topped with the gloss. Here's the one from KKW that I still have. 
This one also kind of pops out. Probably why I don't like these lip liners that have to be sharpened. Here is Nude One. It's such a good formula. I hope she brings back her line. I don't know what's going on. Legal issues, blah -de -de blah -de -de don't care. Give me lipstick. Okay, here are the last of the lip products. I think I'll go over this section first and then this, the gloss section. This is one of the Urban Decay liquid lip colors. This one is in Please. I like the formula. It's just that like, it's the bad shade for me. It didn't work. It's kind of like the Atomic Lip Lacquer from House Labs, except it's a thinner formula. It doesn't stain quite as much. The House Labs one totally stains me, but this is such a bummer for me because I, I like the formula. It's just that the, I get the wrong shade. It's way too orange on me. I have one of the NARS. This is a new release, Afterglow, Central Shine Lipstick, and Dolce Vita. This is so beautiful. It's such a buildable, like sheer formula that's like high shine. The thing is though, it fades off like at five minutes. And so it's like the product that I keep reaching for to keep reapplying. It's still beautiful though. I have the Power Matte Lipstick in American Woman. I also like this. It's just kind of in the bullet form. This one is more of like, I don't know, it's like satin, but it has like a shine to it. It's a beautiful formula. I have one of the lip oils from Lila B. Another one no longer exists. This was such an interesting formula. It was basically sticky like a lip gloss and had a huge amount of pigmentation like a liquid lip. I don't know if I'd really call it like a lip oil. They did. This one is in the shade B Remarkable. Yeah, it's called the Lovingly Lip Tinted Lip Oil, but you can't even get it anymore, so. This one is from NARS. It's the Audacious Lipstick in Mona. I feel like this was like limited edition packaging. There it is right there. I mean, NARS just has a really comfortable formula. This packaging too is like legit. I don't know, it's solid and pretty. One from Huda Beauty. I wanna say this is her matte formula. Nope, this is her cream. Cream Lipstick in Sweet Cheeks. She also has a really good bullet lip formula. And then I have two from Make Beauty. One is the Serum Balm Intense and one is the Serum Balm. The Serum Balm, I feel like is light, very lightly tinted, like a light pink. It's basically so smooth, like a oil. You see that? Oh, these are so good. Not a lot of people talk about Make Beauty, but they have some really good stuff. This one is in Magnetic Mauve. They call them intense, I think, when they just have more pigment to them. It's not much, they're still sheer, but they're so beautiful and they're so comfortable on the lips. I'm telling you, they're super thin. They're basically like a lip oil. I have three from Fenty. They're all the gloss bombs. This is the new shade in Riri. Oh, it is so beautiful. This is like my favorite mauve lip gloss at the current moment. It has like little sparkles in it. It's such a beautiful shade. This one is Glass Slipper, so it's just clear. Ooh, do you see that? That was like a useless swatch, sorry. You can't even see it. And then this one is in Fenty Glow. So, oh my gosh, even that one. Super thick. I love it. Love the shade range in the Fenty glosses that I have. And then I have a couple from Rare Beauty. This is one of her balms in Nearly Mauve. I really like this. I do find that this formula tends to go bad because I've, I've already gone through one of these before. This is my second one. This one still smells good, but I did notice that it went bad pretty quickly. Then one of these is also a balm. Oh, the Dewy Lip Balm. This one is in Compliment. I also really enjoy this. I showed you like the mini, but this one is even less dewy than the mini. This is even more pigmented and less dewy than the mini that I showed you, even though this is called the Dewy Lip Balm. Um, this one is in the shade, oh, I told you, Compliment. Here is the matte, Kind Words Matte Lipstick in Humble. Just an overly drying formula on the lips. It just, it really does just dry out my lips. So I can never leave it. I have to top it with something. I have one here from Give Beauty. She's got some new balms that just released. This is the original recipe in Original Me. It's like this powder matte red that's like cherry colored. It's actually really pretty, super long lasting. It kind of bleeds a little bit. Like if you don't use a lip liner and you go all the way to your lip lines, it does bleed slightly. I have two of the new releases from Sephora. This is their matte formula. I have the shade 11 and then four. This is so good. Sephora did a bang up job on this formulation. It's soft, it's powdery, it's opaque, it's smooth, long lasting. You can't ask for more. I feel like they did just a tremendous job. Oof, they even look smooth on the swatches. 
Then I have one of the lip oils from Merit. This is in Jete. I'm not like overly impressed with it. Like it doesn't have a lot of pigment when it translates to the lips. Like it's cool, it's okay. Like why is it turning hot pink? Is it like a pH? I don't remember this one being like a pH, but it kind of looks like it is. No, it's the Shade Slick Gelee Tinted Lip Oil. But like, I don't ever remember it being this pink. Like is it changing? Like what is this bright pink? And like right here is bright pink. Okay, well, we're gonna move on. I have one here from Patrick Ta. This is the, just his lipstick and that's why she's late. This one reminds me of this one from Give. It's a deeper red though, but like it's a powdery formula in that same way. And same thing, like it will definitely bleed if I go all the way to my lip line without lip liner. Then Powerful Love Hydrating Lip Balm. This is pretty to look at from Kiko Milano. It's meh. It's a nice formula, but it doesn't do anything on the lips. I mean, there's no real shade to it, and it's a very, very limited shine. And then I have a lip oil from House Labs, the PhD Hybrid, Hybrid Lip Oil in Tint. That is literally the shade, and there it is. Just very, very light. It's comfortable, but I'd say it's like sticky for a lip oil. Okay, here is the final section. It's a mixture between gl glosses, all sorts of things. I have two from Marc Jacobs and I love these. These are their Enamored Dazzling, one is the High Shine and one is the Dazzling Gloss. This one is the High Shine in Sugar Sugar. These are so good, you guys. They still smell good too. They're like this milky beautifulness. Oh, they're so smooth. They're like minty. That one is the High Shine. This one is the Dazzling Gloss in Enamored. It's also super beautiful. Look at it. Mm. I can't wait for Marc Jacobs to release new beauty products again. I'm buying everything. Then I have some of the NARS pencils. These are so good. These are their velvet matte lip pencils. I have one in Valkyrie. They're just smooth. Done. Done. Beautiful. Put it in your purse. And then Damned. NARS does a really good job on lip products. I don't know if I've found a NARS lip product that I haven't liked. I have three in here from Bite Beauty. These are their Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. This one is in Anejo. I have used the red one up almost completely. This is basically just their Power Matte formula in the bullet style or crayon, lip crayon style. And this one is in Sazerac. Some really interesting names. This one's so beautiful. Again, you could just really just throw these. I just stopped it, okay. You could throw these in your purse. I have. <laughs> This one I've used almost completely up. It's got that much left, you guys. I should project pan the heck out of this in fall. I don't know what shade this is in. It's just a red shade, but I'll swatch it for you. It's like a cardinal shade. It's really pretty. Then I have one of the new Sephora. Is this new? This is not new. This is their cream lip stain in 70. Yeah, they don't ever have shades. I don't know. It's just really good. Again, I feel like Sephora does a really good job with their lip formulations too. Haven't found one that I haven't liked. I have one from Rude Cosmetics in the Mentos collection, the Soft Matte Lip Crayon. I'll look up the shade in a second. There it is. Very sweet. Again, absolutely nothing wrong with this formula. One from ABH that I think is so cool. This is the lip gloss in Saint Tropez. The shade here is just dynamic. <laughs> It's like a pink with like gold in it. Oh, it's so pretty on the lips. It's one of my more unique glosses. I have one here from LYS. This is a new release from them. Gosh, the writing is too small, but it's one of their only lip products. This one is in Moody. It's nice. It's creamy. It's, I like these small bullets because you can get pretty precise with them. I don't love that I got this really deep shade, but oh well. I have one of the Chubby Sticks Intense. Moisturizing lip color balms from Clinique. Broadest Berry. Again, just a really good throw in your purse formula. I have one that I got in BoxyCharm. This kind of looks separated. Let me smell this. It still smells okay. This is a, from the brand Kismet. It's actually really nice. Like it's a really pretty shade on my lips. Medium weight, but super, super creamy formula. This one is in the shade Baby. This is an underrated, oops, this is an underrated product from NARS. Nobody talks about their lip oils. This is the oil infused lip tint in high security. It is so, so good. I don't think they make this shade anymore, but they make lip oils, but it's one of the oiliest lip oils in my entire collection. It's just so smooth, so comfortable. 
pretty little tint. Another one from Bite. What do they call this? Outburst Longwear Lip Stain in Sangria Slush. I picked this up like right when they announced they were going out. This one is like has more tack to it. It's definitely more grippy, but it's still super smooth. But it's like this fuchsia color. It's so pretty. And then finally, we have one from Le Rock. This is, I want to say, yeah, Premier Premier. It's just their lip gloss. It came in that same set. So I got like the lip crayon, the bullet, and then the lip gloss. So that is all of them. That's everything, you guys. I'm completely done showing you my high-end makeup collection with some, you know, Sephora and not so high-end products thrown in here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to know if you watched the whole collection because I don't know how many videos I'm gonna have to break this up into. So if you did and you're getting to the last one, leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. You guys, I am out of here and I hope to catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.